Good day. This module covers the uh, fire protection system. Fire is a uh, rapid process accompanied by the evolution of heat, light, flame, and the emission of sound. To start the fire, it has uh, three main elements, fuel, oxygen, and heat. The oxidation process will not be uh, possible without any one of these three elements. Aims in the uh, fire safety design. A is to prevent fire. Letter B, to uh, safeguard the uh, lives of the occupants and fire fighters. C is to reduce damage on the building, its uh, contents, and on surrounding buildings. The uh, seven uh, basic principles of uh, fire protection system. Number one is fire avoidance. Fire zoning is the three life risk areas. Areas in which all occupants are ambulant and are able to move unaided away from the fire. Example, outpatient departments, service areas, or zones. High risk areas, areas which, due to their function, are more usually susceptible to an outbreak of fire or to a rapid spread of fire or smoke. Example, kitchen, boiler room. High fire load areas, areas which because of their construction or contents contain huge amount of combustible materials, thereby constituting a fire load in excess of that normally found Example is the gas storage, the linen closets, letter D, high risk life areas, areas in which persons may reside and are not able to uh, move unaided away from a fire. Example, the intensive care unit in a hospital or the operating department. Choice of materials and knowledge of materials is uh, highly performed. So, concrete, it has high fire resistance. Masonry, high fire resistance, still does not burn but may buckle on intense heat. Calcium silicate, excellent. Uh, Thermal resistant. Timber are combustible materials. Glass, they have low fire resistance. Number two, fire detection. Visual fire detection. Fire prone areas should be visually accessible and uh, peepholes should be provided on doors. Mechanical fire detection makes use of manual and automatic electric or electronic method of informing the occupants in charge that fire has occurred in a given location. These are some mechanical fire detections. We have a manual alarm to uh, alarm the system. This is now what we call the manual pull station. We have the fire alarm bell 
or bell connected to the alarm system and a signal light connected through this uh, manual pull station. These are some uh, diagrams that indicates how the system operates. So take note that if uh, it is also possible to activate the uh, manual pull station with the help of these detectors. So when you say detectors, this can be the uh, smoke detectors or heat detector. And there is actually a fire alarm control box. So meaning this is where it uh, actually transmits the signal where fire has occurred. So it, it is actually grouped into different zones. So this is a typical diagram for the fire alarm system. Fire growth resistance. So the fire growth uh, restriction is a manual restricting or stopping the spread of fire with the help of a fire extinguisher. So strategically, it must be located on hallways and other one of that is uh, available of strand pipes. So. We can also have a dry or wet pipe, stand pipe uh, system, and besides it are the fire hoses. Other ways are the uh, fire blanket, and the last are the bucket of sand. So meaning the sand actually is to also utilized to put off fire because it uh, only seals oxygen. In that way, combustion without oxygen, combustion is not possible. So these are actually the extinguishers. So maybe it can be the ABC. So A denotes that this is intended for the ordinary combustion, or B, the flammable liquids, and C are the electrical equipment. And D these are the combustible metals. So a fire extinguisher is actually denoted by these uh, alphabets, which denotes the type of fire extinguisher that is actually available on site or building. There are at least four different types of classes of fire extinguisher with specific uses in case where fire occurs. This is an example of fire hydrant located outside the building. So meaning the uh, universal form of uh, putting up fire is through the help of a simple water. Mechanical means of uh, restricting the fire growth. Sprinkler systems are used already with uh, different categories like general use, institutional, residential, attics, special hazards, storage, or uh, head of sprinklers. There are three major types. We have the upright, dependent, and the sidewall. Sprinklers can be spaced from 3 meters to 6 meters apart depending on their specific applications or use, if it is low, medium, or high hazard. So these are the different types of uh, fire sprinkler system. So this one is of course, it can be seen that it is inside ways. So therefore, this type of sprinkler head is the horizontal side wall. 
if it is so this this one is also an, another example of a horizontal sidewall sprinkler head so the, if you're going to look at this type of sprinkler head because it looks like a bulb or it is almost undiscernible this type of sprinkler head is now what we call the royal flush if it is uh, pointing downward so the sprinkler head the, you can visibly see see that this is the sprinkler head the bulb so this is the pendant type while if it is up so meaning it is vertical and the bulb is pointing upward it means that this one is the the upright sprinkler head so for the upright sprinkler head this is uh, usually used in industrial use so meaning once that it is operated the water that flows through the sprinkler head will just simply use the ceiling to disperse of the fire or put off the fire number four par containment assumes that uh, measures to control a growing fire may not be uh, successful hence its uh, maximum size needs, needs to be uh, restricted both to reduce the risk and to allow effective par fighting so for par containment this implies par cladding of uh, structural components to ensure stability of structural frames so meaning we need to fireproof the uh, column and the beam the use of uh, fire rated walls and slabs to contain fire in a room sub compartments and compartments so as to segregate areas where fire may occur so <clears throat> number two is actually known to be the compartmentalization others plugging all holes extending uh, concrete hollow blocks up to the slab so meaning once that you uh, have a wall not just that the wall reaches up to the ceiling but actually the ceiling there's still a perforation there that is why it is needed that from the ceiling the wall should reach up to the slab so provide providing a meter ledge to uh, prevent fire from creeping up the exterior walls into the floor above through the windows so meaning it is actually uh, partitioned well enough that you prevent fire from scattering around the uh, building fire control covers those devices and system which aids firefighting or firefighters in actively extinguishing the fire and uh, bringing it to an end earlier than a free burning fire other solutions on fire control are site access like the availability of uh, roads and the uh, proper turning radius of for fire trucks including the cul de sac smoke control measures which uh, can assist to some extent occupants in fire zone but are particularly 
needed for others in uh, adjacent areas or compartments. Techniques of uh, smoke control, smoke uh, containment uh, or barrier. Technique of uh, restricting the uh, movement of the smoke by the provision of the resisting elements. Smoke dispersal. This is the technique of clearing smoke locally by provision of uh, natural cross ventilation or mechanical venting. So meaning here, we need to design our buildings in such a way that it has ducts or ducting works that ensures the uh, building has a separate uh, duct for the air conditioning system and a separate duct work to discharge off the uh, smoke coming from afar. So meaning it is very important that we should also consider designing our structure that is that has an available duct for to admit smoke and disperse it to the egress of the building. Pressurization is the technique whereby air is blown into spaces which are designed to be kept clear of smoke. So it is very important that we need to pressurize especially the exit point. We are actually referring to the stairwell of the exit points of the building. Escape provision. Cover a range of uh, passive or active systems which permit the occupants to move or to move uh, down from places to safety within or to the outside of the building. The corridor system, direct, not uh, tortoise. It must be simple layout. There must be no barriers, no hindrance. Call this up. The, uh, it must be a bottleneck. So meaning the uh, corridor system must not be a, a danger prone wherein if uh, people are vacating the premises there might be a bottleneck somewhere along that corridor so this must be avoided doors open outways or outside no hidden exit it must be uh, view or viewed by the people who will vacate the premises. Arscape. Arscape stairs are designed to be used daily for familiarity. The escape rope, well maintained and not used as storage or junk. So it is also important that for the fire escape, the uh, management of the institution must have a drill or an emergency drill in case that there is fire or earthquake. <clears throat> so this is where fire escape becomes very handy because you are just going to simulate how the occupants will vacate the premises in an orderly way. This will assure that the safety of the occupants and the life of the occupants are actually saved. So to provide safety, the roads must be properly protected from the effects of fire and smoke for an acceptable time period. Usually, a uh, minimum of 60 minutes, or when you say 60 minutes, it is one hour.
this ends my presentation.